Hi guys, Jana here. I haven't made a video in a really long time. I'm sorry about that, but you know what? We've been really busy. I've been making a lot of lures. I might have been playing hooky and fishing a little bit too, but we've been making a lot of lures. So I've got a lot to tell you about. I'm gonna make a couple different videos. And right now I wanna tell you about my brand new launch that's coming up on the website today. And that is my latest scoop. I made a special edition just for you guys who are all fishing with squid this summer and targeting those big marlin, okay? So you all love the standard scoops, right? Thank you so much for loving the scoops, the way you have been buying them like crazy. I really appreciate it and I know everybody likes them a lot. Um, we're a little bit more efficient and faster at turning these out now, so they shouldn't be going out of, out of stock quite so often. Uh, but that's not going to be the same deal with these guys. This is my handwork and it's shell and they take me longer. So if they sell out, they'll take me a little while to get them back in again. So get them while you can. Now, um, the story behind this is simply that one of the greatest lure styles of all time has always been the kind of a root beer colored resin over some kind of shell, usually MOP slab, right? Not a lot of people do it because like all great things, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, but we did it. Now I kicked it up a little bit and I used my Mexican green abalone for my shell. And I really like the Mexican green abalone because I like the natural shell look and I like all of the, the contrast that's created by the striations in the shell. And that's also why I did, I cut these tiny little hexagons out of the same shell and put them on here with tweezers on the top of the head. Now that's all cool and everything, but why did I do that? Well, if you take a look at, you know, take a look at a squid, first of all, depending on the type, but, and then take a look at um, the squid combo skirts that we use, like this is Squid Ugly, and I have uh, Ika under here. They have a lot of, um, spots and speckles and lines and striations to create contrast and to create an authentic squid look. So I really wanted to create a lure head that was continuous with the skirt. So it creates a nice authentic squid look. And then over the top of it, we did this beautiful resin. It's a gorgeous root beer color. And then of course, on top of that, you have our scoop technology that we have and look at the schnozzes on these guys. I mean, come on, the bubble trail on these things and you combine that with this squid look, this is gonna be an amazing Marlin lure. Now, if you don't know what the scoops are all about and I'm talking about this bubble trail, so they're all created the same way and I'm gonna show you one from the back. So you can see here the way the jets are positioned, it's just like with our Hellcats and our Jezebels, okay? we have a slightly different configuration than what most people do. We don't just stick them all in a square shape. They are positioned so that the top jets are a little bit higher and the bottoms are a little bit lower above and below the line tube. And what that does is it helps them to catch more air, okay, and gives them more action. And then when you combine it with this scoop, it takes that front face and it condenses the surface area so that it's forcing more water through those jets and that's gonna create a stronger bubble trail that comes out the other end. We do this all with the keel weighting so that it's perfectly balanced and then this is machined precisely to an exact angle. Now, we came out with these years ago and everybody tested them out and loved them, but they were very difficult for us to make. And now we just have a new method. So enjoy. Oh, and by the way, this is black Kona, um, missing its skirts, of course. So I'm sitting here yesterday and I'm getting this thing ready to put on the internet, right? And all of a sudden, ding, I get an email come in and I get this. And this is, um, this is David in Hawaii. Hi, David. And he's out fishing with the black Kona scoop that he just bought. And he sends me this. I'm like, that's so cool. So I get back to work, right? And I'm working with this thing. And then a little bit later, ding. Now he sends me this. He got black Kona again, right? I'm like, wow, that's awesome. You know, and I get back to work and I'm thinking, what's he going to catch next? Ding. Look at this wahoo he gets, and this is all on black Kona. I think I jinxed it though, because I said, hey, you're gonna get a blue marlin next. And, and he did get a blue marlin next actually, but um, he said that it missed 
the um he calls it Kona boy um he missed Kona boy and then got something on his inside spread so either way i don't care i'm happy he had a wonderful day so that's all i got for now guys i hope you love my new squid and happy fishing